to welcome you to the fourth annual leadership conference. I'm Jay Barbudo. I'm the director of the Center for Leadership at Cal State Fullerton. And today we have a really exciting conference plan for you. We've got three great panels with some exciting panelists. This year's theme is learning from the masters. Lessons about overcoming adversity from local business founders and CEOs. A leader consists of a person that has a vision of what he wants to accomplish over a long period of time. Um, I wouldn't say Marty's the best manager, but he is the best leader that, I, that I've been around in a long time because he has a vision, he knows what he wants to accomplish, he knows how he's going to accomplish it, and he's going to hire the people to get him there. I look at a leader uh, as a person that, uh, who's following this leader? What type of people are following him? And those are the type of people that you want to learn from. The notion that we live compartmentalized lives and we're one person in our private life and we're another person in our business life, um, I've really seen how um, as much as we might have a skill of not compartmentalizing, we are all people. And so um, the state that my marriage is in has a huge effect um, on my business, the state that um, you know, my relationship is with my kids or my relationships outside of my business. All of those things have a big effect. I've, I've come to see how much non-business elements of life actually have a huge impact on my business. And so it's been very important for me to constantly, when, when the, the drive as a small business is to push and is to grow, um, it's been very important for me to make time to set aside the urgent and do the important and remember that I'm not a compartmentalized person and I've got to cultivate um, sort of a holistic approach to being a business person as opposed to just doing business. And uh, when I tell, uh, talk about my career, I also talk about my failures. And without any uh, hesitation, um, I have uh, students coming up to me and said, uh, I love your story, but what I love more than anything else is you telling us where you failed. And I think it's very, very important that no matter how successful you are, you have to talk about your failures. Uh, and uh, and uh, obviously, everybody knows that you learn by your failures, and you hopefully don't make the same mistake twice. But.